good morning, Monday morning to you guys. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, again, I want to encourage you to be uh, looking at this week in a positive mindset. Uh, I know sometimes uh, in the past I've always have looked at Mondays as hated going to work and dreaded, dreaded the week ahead. But if we look at it from a positive standpoint, we can have a positive outcome. From our week and uh, so we are in second Timothy chapter 4 and we're in the second half of that passage and we're going to conclude uh, second Timothy today uh, we're going to read verses 9 through 22 and then we'll just see what God has to say to us this morning for every effort uh, to come to uh, me Make every effort to come to me soon, for Demas has loved the present world and deserted me and gone to Thessalonica. Cretans has gone to Galatia, Titus to Dalmatia. That's where the Dalmatian puppies come from. Uh, only Luke is with me. Pick up Mark and bring him with you. For he is useful to me in the service. Now, if you'll remember back in the book of Acts, uh, Paul and, and Barnabas had gotten into a little tiff over Mark, and Barnabas wanted to bring Mark with him, them on their next journeys, but Paul didn't really want to. And Paul had an issue with Mark, and what that issue was, we, we don't know. But here later in, in, in his life and ministry, Paul... Uh, really uh, thought a lot of, of John Mark, and and here he's wanting Mark to be with him. So Mark, Mark is the one that wrote the book of Mark. And if you'll remember, there was, um, when when the soldiers came in to arrest Jesus, uh, the disciples fled. But there was mention of a, of a young man, young teenage uh, boy, that fled, the Bible says he fled naked. That was John Mark here. Uh, and Paul really uh, thought a lot of him later in life and says, bring him to me because he's useful to me in, in the service. Uh, but Tychicus, I have sent to Ephesus. When you bring, bring the cloak, which I have left at Troas with Carpus and the books, especially to the parchments, uh, Alexander the coppersmith did me much harm. The Lord will repay him according to his deeds. Be on guard against him yourself, for he vigorously opposes our teaching. Uh, at my first defense, no one supported me, but all deserted me. May it not be counted against them. But the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, so that through me the proclamation might be full, fully accomplished and that all the uh, Gentiles might hear, and I was rescued out of the lion's mouth. Paul, Paul had many times that he uh, was beaten. Uh, he was uh, stoned to death three times. Uh, there was several different ways that stoning took place, but most of the time what happened was is that when you, were, when you had been uh, sentenced to death and died by stoning. They, they went out inside the city gates, they dug a hole and buried you to your waist and then chunked rocks. And it wasn't like little bit, little bitty rocks that you fit in your hand. It was rocks about this size or bigger that they, they would hurl at you until, until you died. And Paul had that happen to him three different times and he survived. So <clears throat> Paul uh, was beaten. Uh, he had... Uh, 39 lashes, just like Jesus did across his back. Uh, the Philippian jailer, uh, Philippi, was one of the places that that happened to him. So uh, Paul had been through quite a, quite a bit in his ministry. And Paul says here in his writings, in verse 18, the Lord rescued him from every uh, evil deed and will bring him, uh, me safely to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. Uh, greet uh, Prisca and Aquila, and the household of Onesiris, uh, Aristophus, uh, remained in Corinth, and Trophi Trophimus, I must, sick in Miltus, uh, 
uh, make every effort to come before the winter. Uh, Eubulus uh, greet you, also Prudence and Lunus and Claudia and the brethren. The Lord be with you in spirit and grace be with you. So here Paul finishes out this letter to Timothy, his second letter to Timothy, and it, it was an encouragement and, and uh, building up of a young pastor there in Ephesus. So hope you guys have a great day today. Uh, keep Let's keep a positive uh, outlook on um, this week, and I hope you guys have a great day today. We'll pray for you and let you get about your day. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your many blessings. We praise you. We exalt you. We lift up your name. We're thankful for this Monday that we can uh, look for opportunities to share you with others. Thank you for the service that you gave us yesterday. Thank you for the ability to be able to go live and bless people uh, in their homes and in hospitals, uh, wherever they uh, might find themselves watching our, the live stream. Father, we praise you. We exalt you. And we're excited that you are a part of what's going on here in our lives and around us. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. I hope you'll continually follow me here on the Daily Ride. And I hope you will keep riding.